Hello and welcome to Who Wins Podcast, where each episode we pit pop culture icons against each other in a brutal fight to the death. I am Chris Bolton. With me, as always, my partner in pugilism, Mr. Mark Williams. Hello. And this episode, we are kicking off what is not quite a month of He-Man-inspired content. It's three weeks of He-Man-inspired content. Because we can probably find a fourth, let's be honest. We, we didn't have the foresight to think a year ago when we recorded She-Ra that maybe we'd want He-Man money, even though we knew the Netflix show was coming. But we didn't do it. And we went, we just stormed right ahead and recorded a She-Ra episode on SMPD. So it always left us with three weeks worth of content. So anyway, this is the first of what will be a almost month-long celebration of He-Man as we pit Skeletor <laughs> against Mumra. Now, what I can't work out, Rosa, we've been doing the show for seven fucking years. How have we never done this before? I don't know. I don't know how this one. Maybe it seemed too obvious. I don't, I don't know. Maybe because when I was trying to think, like, what what can we do on Who Wins for He? Because we've already done He Man because we did He Man and Conan. Yeah. So I started kind of diving into some of the real random characters, like, well, maybe we can use Orko for something, or like yeah. I, I was going like, oh, what, who can fucking Moss Man fight? Maybe we can do Moss Man and Swamp Thing. Do you know what I mean? I was getting that random. And I was like, you fucking idiot! Why don't you do Skeletor <laughs> and Mumra? <laughs> Yeah, it's, I just don't understand how we haven't got this uh, got this one done already. No, no, well, maybe, obviously, it suits us because now we have three weeks as opposed to two weeks. Uh, three weeks as opposed to two weeks. Yeah, although two weeks is a more even number. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but at least at least we've got something across all three shows now. Um, and, you know, listeners, if any of you do think of something we could do for a fourth show, we're looking for another SMPD, basically, because we <laughs> fucked it and did she -Ra. So... That sounded way dirtier than I intended. Um, <laughs> Not touching that one. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, so anyway, let's dive into this. Skeletor Mumra. Um, this is going to be quite close, I think. Yeah, this is going to be quite interesting because they're both, if you look at them physically, they're both fucking stacked. Yeah. Like, well, they're this both is enormous. The yeah. And then they're both magic users as well. Yeah, they're both sorcerers. Well, Skeletor's a sorceress. Mumra just has more kind of innate magic, really, doesn't he? Like, yeah, because really... isn't he like a vessel for the, the, the four big things, which I can't remember? Like the Agent, Agent, Agent Spirits. Spirits of Evil. Yeah, they, he, he, they, they conduct themselves through, through him. Because yeah. it? it's like Agent Spirits of Evil transform this decaying vessel or whatever. It transforms this decaying form, isn't oh. it? That's the words, yeah, into, into Mumra, the Evil. I mean. um, yeah, so there's that. I, I think the only thing Mumra's got going for him over Skeletor is that he is Mumra the Ever Living. Like he yeah. is. <laughs> it, I mean, the clues in the name. He is. But has that well, ever been tested? Well, kind of, isn't it? Because I, I definitely remember, and I only remember this because as D and D players now, we had uh, a session quite some time ago now where we had to fight the uh, D and D's version of vampires. Of which, when you fight a D and D vampire, when you kill it, you don't kill it. It just retreats to its fucking coffin. And then you have to kill it in the coffin before it regenerates. And that set the little switch in my fucking brain that went, that's what you've got to do with Mumra. Um, because that's what happens. If you sh if you beat him, he just retreats back to yeah. his tool. And, then he has and it's the same, like, when he turns into Mumra, the ever-living. Like, it, it, I don't think they ever really specified how long he gets to be the ever-living for. But no. there's, like... He basically he can burn out. It's like using a fucking special move in a video game, isn't it? It's like he fills his power bar, and then yeah. he's got like a finite period of time, and then he's like the decrepit old form again. Um, but yeah, I, I remember there being a thing of like when you beat him or when you when you kill him, essentially he just goes back to his crypt and regenerates. And I'm pretty sure from the numerous times I've really watched Thundercats now as well, and for SMPD as well, I'm pretty sure there's something about like. I read in the new version of Thundercats, not the new, new shit one, the one that came in the middle. Um, there was a thing about the ancient spirits of evil actually trying to imprison him because, like, he right. turned on them and they couldn't kill him. So it was kind of a phantom zone kind of thing where they're just like, okay. well, we've made him immortal. Now what do we fucking do? So they ended up having <laughs> to try and trap him. Um, but I do also remember from the original series, there was a thing where, like, if you were... Because the ancient spirits of evil had... They were, like, these um, statues where they were on his, around yeah. his tomb. It was, like, I, I forget whether it was a boar. It was definitely a boar or, like, a pig or some sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, it was a wolf, I want to say. Um... Uh, like, anyway, there was yeah, there was fucking, I can't remember. I'm trying, was, trying to see it now. It's fucking four oh, of them. A, a boar, a crocodile, a vulture, and an ox. I thought there was a wolf. Maybe Apparently was, not. You can confuse the wolf with an ox then. I don't know. How would you do that? I don't know. Um, but anyway, I, I know if you like bust them up, 
I remember there being a thing where like if you could break those, you could weaken him. So I think like and I, so I do think Skeletor's got a chance, even if he doesn't kill him. Like if this has got to be one of those things like a Chucky situation again, where it's going to be like right, well I've got to trap him. Like that that kind of is in Skeletor's wheelhouse anyway. Because why would yeah. you do something as simple as just kill him when yeah. you could have a twenty step convoluted plan? Yeah. That yeah. makes you actually trapping him in something instead. Uh, yeah, I was, I was going to say, no, why drop an anvil on his head when you can play fucking mousetrap? Yeah, because that's skeletal for you. Nothing's ever as simple as straight A to B. He's got to be a showman about it, hasn't he? He's yeah. gonna, you know, he's, he's got to... I mean, I, and so, yeah, so he's a sorcerer. You've got magic from Mumra, which because, like, he can do the force lightning thing. Like, he, yeah. can, he can shoot lightning from his hands, whereas skeletal relies on his staff, doesn't he? Yeah. So Don't there is... Know. Yeah, so I mean, there is, I guess Mumra's got that going for him. Um, yeah. I think physically, I think Skeletor's more stacked, but I think Mumra's taller. I don't know. I, think, I, I don't think know they're, the they're, both, they're both equally but... abnormally stacked. I know that. Yeah, um, I, mean, I think it's just the fact that Mumra's taller. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he's got I the... think they're both massively ripped. Yeah, he's got the reach, whereas Skeletor is just fucking ginormous. Like, yeah. he's just, he's like a big roid monster. So, yeah. In later life, that's something that's freaked me out. Like both of these, I actually found quite scary as a kid in a, in a mm. cool way. Yeah. Um, but in later life, Skeletor's always kind of freaked me out by just how fucking ginormous he is with a teeny little skeleton head. Like yeah. there's, there's just something really fucking freaky about that. Yeah. Um, but then you know, Skeletor himself, like he he can be killed because he's fleshy, I guess. But then. He's like he's, we got to bear in mind he's also survived a fucking well depending on which version of Skeletor yeah. we're going with this was he's he's survived a fucking acid attack on his face like it's not like yeah. he's easy to kill that's if we're going for like the now generally accepted yeah I, I, think, I, I like they, yeah they, they didn't wasn't it like they kind of retconned it so that he um he, he did a deal with Hordak basically to save his life and he took his face, yes. took his face basically his face. yeah 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 so, so they retconned that in the uh in the middle show the one that was yeah. like late 90s not early 2000s yeah um i i think that was or was it the early 2000s no ones? hang on it was the um i think, I think it was the early 2000s ones I think was, it, the, was it the early 2000s ones I yeah I the seen any, two uh, version yeah there you go um, yeah yeah because the middle one was the new adventures of he-man which was 1990 that's right, yeah. And, and then he walks, it looks like it's got fucking. That's when um, he's all fucking robotic and shit. Yeah, and it uh, there's a there's a shot uh, still on the wiki page, and it, it kind of looks like Ghostbusters animation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's fucking. I I do remember trying to watch that because I was still I, young enough to watch, and I was like, why the fuck? I, I know it's just stupid because they've always been in space because mm. it's Masters of the Universe. Like, why the fuck are they in space all of a sudden? Who? Yeah. Is Star Wars. What the fuck is this? Um, yeah, I, we'll I, think, I remember. I vaguely remember thinking yeah. that. So I mean, I I knew there were multiple versions, and I, I'm looking at it, um, looking at it this afternoon, and even I've got the screen now. It looks very much that like his face is shaped because, look, the original one it was clearly a skull. Yes. Whereas this one has sort of flesh on it. It's a skull, yeah, yeah. but it has some flesh to pull over the cheeks and the side of the mouth and stuff. So yeah. It doesn't yeah. It doesn't look like skeletal. It no. looks like a person with red eyes. No. Um, and, and, and yeah, so so that is a thing with Skeletor. I mean, Mumra has pretty much been Mumra throughout all of the yeah. incarnations of Thundercats. But Skeletor, I mean, He Man is another one of those shows, and we'll talk about this at length on SNPD. So I won't go too far into it here. It's just something we yeah. need to establish for the ground rules. He Man's another one of those shows like Transformers, where that like the fucking timeline is so convoluted, yeah. and there's like so there's. Like there's the the timeline from the mini comics that you used to get with the figures. Then there's the timeline from the 80s show, the timeline from the 90s show, the timeline from the, all of them are slightly different. The yeah. lore is all slightly different in all of them. Um, but I think so. I don't know whether we take Skeletor as a kind of general as we would I normally think, kind yeah, of amalgamate, which is which I think, we, which I think right. yeah, which I, I I think is is kind of what people are doing now when they they sort of take. Um, the bit where he's possibly He Man's half uncle, possibly, maybe it's never been confirmed, but they and that likes to get written into lore, I think, um, and and it's that version that we then say gets fucking covered in acid and ends up striking a deal with Hordak, as opposed to just being a being from another dimension, which he is yeah. in the comics, or or just being a like in the eighties show, if we were to take that the most populist version, then he is just part of Hordak's horde. Uh, yeah. originally uh, and, and you even get that you know which we've, we've talked about this before as well in the in the he-man and she christmas special that becomes a thing yeah. um that he's part of, of the horde and he wants to sort of strike back at hordak himself uh, but if we take this kind of general 
overview of him then so he's not like necessarily a being from another dimension or anything like that he, but he is somebody that is incredibly hard to kill with that yeah. in mind like he's he's a sorcerer kind of a necromancer of sorts really i suppose um so and if, you know, and if facebook's for he's fucking funny as well uh i mean yeah uh shout out to grumpy skeletor on facebook yeah if, if anybody listening to this doesn't follow that account you absolutely should yes um although i, I, I think he's, he's about to start the patreon thing so um, get it while it's free uh yeah and then if you like it support him on patreon as well yeah. because uh, you know as we say all the time on this network we we believe in paying for for what you're listening to you know people can't do this for free unless you're idiots like us um yeah and we can't afford to do it for free we just we know we know we're nowhere near popular enough to ask you guys for money yet unless each of you want to give us like a hundred quid a month which you don't so anyway oh if you do yeah fucking hell we're way off topic already like we we barely well i suppose we're not because this came out talking about yeah look look skeletal impressions are coming out already as well (laughs) (laughs) it's one of the easiest impressions to do skeletal it because it's basically a 1930s mobster and (laughs) and then you just throw you just start using the word boob instead you just yeah you're bumbling boob it's it's so so easy to do (laughs) Anyway, anyway, back on topic. Um, so, yeah, I, I think I don't think either of them can intimidate the other either. Like like Skeletor for all of like, like he's more likely to get angry. Like Mamra's yeah. big thing is he looks he looks quite frightening and stuff and intimidating. But Skeletor's more likely to just look at him and go like, get the fuck out of my way. Yeah, like <laughs> that, that's going to be things. Like you are in my way. You need to be out of it. Um, whereas Mamra, I think, is I think he's the more evil of the two. Yeah, really. like because especially when you look at like the christmas special there is there is good in skeletor occasionally like he's not always a complete and utter douchebag like there is he does have moments of of good um he's just really he's misunderstood he's just very determined i think is the thing with skeletor like he just wants he just wants castle grayskull it's just simple really um whereas mumra i don't really know what he wants other than the ancient spirits of evil have told him he's got to wipe up the thundercats and and basically take control of third earth but other than that, he's just like, I am a really evil cunt, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, he's this evil demonic force, um, which, you know, kind of leads you to think maybe he's a little bit unstoppable as well. Um, but if anybody's going to do it, it's going to be Skeletor. If movies have taught us anything, is that the unstoppable, unstoppable demonic forces are actually easily stopped when it comes to it. As soon as you yeah. start playing logic, you're fine. Oh, well, that's scaled out the fucking window then, isn't it? Because well, yeah, he never has a that. logical plan ever. Again, why would he just do something like straightforwardly kill him when he could make some weird contraption to try and catch him and revert him back to his mummified form? And uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's it. Skeletor would want to get hold of the ancient spirits of evil, wouldn't he? That would be the thing. It yeah. wouldn't be enough to just kill Mumra. It would yeah. be like, I want to kill him and I want to take the power for myself so I but can then, kill Skeletor the ever living. Yeah, but then it's it's difficult because. It's not just taking power, is it? It's imbuing it's it's imbuing himself with other spirits who are going to have their own. No, they're going to control him rather than the other way around. So he's not. He's not. He wouldn't get what he thinks that he'd get out of it anyway. He, no, he'd get the cool. He'd get the cool lightning effect and shit. But in reality, he would just. Well, he would then be their puppet. Yeah, but uh, well, Mumra kind of. He, he, he is capable of free thought and does use free thought. I see that's there's mm-hmm. a whole thing there where they try and imprison him because of that. He's just getting too powerful. He's not doing what they want, and he ends yeah. up. Having, we talked about this on our Thundercats rewatch as well. You know, towards yeah. the end of the second season of um, Thundercats, is a thing where they're pissed off with him and they're like, "Well, yeah. you're not doing what we want," and he yeah. kind of rallies against them. So Skeletor would have would still have some. He would, but I think the problem is, as, as we said, because he's not because Skeletor's not Skeletor's not evil enough, and he's not bright enough to actually use it and use what he's got to his advantage he would end up fucking it up and end up being he absolutely he, fuck it up. He, that's what he, he does best yeah he, <laughs> he, he, he wouldn't he wouldn't have so much be their vessel as their bitch yeah and i mean i mean fucking things up is absolutely what he does best like he, he, how the fuck like i know he man's like the most powerful man in the universe but let's be honest he's not a thinker is he like yeah, he's a puncher like, yeah the amount of chances skeletor had to fucking take him down like you'd think somewhere along the line one of those fucking schemes would have worked but hey ho um but then again no without no without without his ineptitude you wouldn't have you wouldn't have several seasons um and iterations you also wouldn't have power rangers because think of like fucking rita repulsa and um, all the other iterations that were, had all these schemes it's and no, people not that bright at some point they would have taken over the universe 
yeah, they would have. I, I, I think, and, and God bless him, and we'll talk about this on SMPD as well. God bless him. I think Skeletor is absolutely like my favourite cartoon villain of all time, just because <laughs> geez, like nothing goes right for the guy, does it? Yeah, he can't catch a break. <laughs> no, he cannot catch a break. And he's like, he's he's reasonably terrifying. Like, let's be honest, if you saw him coming towards you, you'd be like, fuck, there's a giant fucking roided out wrestler looking dude coming towards me with a fucking skull for a head. Yeah. Like most people would just run the other fucking way. Let alone the fact he's got this fucking demonic looking ram's head staff. Yeah. He's flanked by fucking beast man and evil Lynn, one of whom looks like a fucking massive wolf monster thing on two legs. And the other one looks like she's just going to fucking break your balls in half. Like you, you run the other direction yeah. immediately and it just never happens for him. Bless him. <laughs> I, I, I always felt the same sort of level of pity as I do for Wiley Coyote because he tries so fucking hard, bless him. Yeah. And, and I, this, every now and again, he deserves a break. But yeah. no, for, for the best, no, for the best plan he can do, he will always end up with anvil on the head. Yeah. It's kind of, and, and like I say, especially with Scaldo, occasionally, like there were episodes that sort of took a dive into Skeletor as a character as well. And he's like, he's not, he's not all, he's certainly not as bad as, or as evil as Mumra, who is no. literally just, he's a demonic entity. He is evil yeah. incarnate. Skeletor is not that, I don't think. No. Like, for instance, you are never, ever going to see, unless we have seen it in an episode, and you can prove me wrong if that's the case, this is, but I don't think we have. I don't think you're ever going to see, like, Mumra team up with the Thundercats. Not but, that I'm aware of, no. But Skeletor has teamed up with He-Man on many, many occasions to yeah. fight a bigger evil. Yeah, like when you when you have the team up things with Thundercats, it's always the Thundercats and the Robert Burbles and yeah. um, Mumra and the fucking Viking the pirate things. Yeah, pirate, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't remember really yeah. now, but yeah, those. One of them had a giant fucking hand thing. Hammer hand. That's him. Yeah. That, and uh, then yeah. you had one with the wheel in his stomach. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So yeah. Were they just, circus? I, they were berserkers. That's what they were. And then you had yeah. Groon as well, didn't you? The big fucking alien yeah. thing. Yeah, they were. Uh, we're not allowing any of them into this. No, no, no henchmen. No. no henchmen, right? Because fucking hell, like the list of Skeletor's henchmen. Like he's got the whole horde, basically, if he wants yeah. it, any. So it's just, it's flat out the two of them. Um, I mean, I think the first thing is, like, if Mumra can get the staff off Skeletor, if he can destroy the staff, that is going to weaken Skeletor significantly. Yeah. Because I don't, did, did I don't have he, anything. Because I know when he when he was in his so old decrepit mummy form, he had a stick, didn't he, which he used to walk with. Yeah. So did no, he, no, did that then trans, translate to anything when he turned not into? Not that I can remember. He just kind of lost all all his, his robe flew off, and he had yeah, like cloth and bandages and stuff. He had a um a headdress, didn't he? Yeah. But I, I don't think he conducted his power through that. I just always remember his eyes glowing like bright red, and he could like yeah, because because the, the toys, the fucking him and Lionel, you you could. Push the um, push the thing at their back and make the eyes light, light up. Was a yeah, yeah, room. that's right. Yeah, um, no, I don't think he needed to focus his energy through anything. I mean, maybe Skeletor doesn't, but I'm pretty sure every time I've seen him do magic, it's generally yeah, through, it's always through the, the, through the staff. Through the staff. So if you can get that off him, then he's he's down he's down straight away. But then, see, the thing is, whilst Mumra's definitely more evil, mm. I think Skeletor's smarter. For all yes. we've just said about him, I think he's, he's oh, more cunning. Oh, very much so. This yeah. is why I was liking him to Wiley Coyote, because he comes up with the schemes and the plans and everything else. Maybe not Wiley Coyote, maybe uh, maybe Tom, of, yeah. of Tom and Jerry. Yeah. He, he'll have the schemes and he'll, he'll just fuck up the execution. Yeah, that's it. Well, he, he fucks up the execution because he trusts other people. Mm. That's his mistake. This like, is true. If stop being so fucking lazy and lead from the front. <laughs> he probably managed to do it. But he's probably too busy, like, you know, oiling up his pecs and stuff for fucking pose down with He-Man or something. Um, if, yeah, if he would just do it himself rather than trust in fucking Beastman and Evil Lynn, yeah. just, he'd be fine. Especially Beastman. Who the fuck trusts Beastman with any? Shit. They're closing the name. He's thick as pig shit. Like, he can't even string a sentence together. Why would you allow him to do anything for you? Yeah. Anyway, again, we're digressing. Um, so if Mamra can get rid of the staff, which it, I mean, look, it's made out of bone. So yeah. you shoot that thing with lightning. It's gone. It's going to it? explode, isn't it? It's gone. It's flat out gone. So I I think and I, and I think he would do that pretty much straight away because I, I can't see unless Skeletor is quick enough to fire off a spell immediately upon seeing Mamra, hmm. which. OK, is Mamra already transformed is the question. Yeah. 
yeah. think we've got to allow that, haven't we? We can't allow him, you know, because if he's at any point decrepit, then Skeletor's just going to take him down immediately before he gets a chance to transform, isn't he? Yeah. So, okay, he takes the staff out. So we're down to magic now versus just physicality on, on Skeletor's point. Really. Yeah. Um, although, see, here's the other thing with Mamrat. There's a thing, I don't remember exactly how this works. There's a thing with his reflection, isn't there? He's scared of his own. He's scared yeah. of his own reflection. There's de- there's definitely. I can't remember what that is, but yeah, you. He's I I definitely know this. I don't ex- I can't remember how it works, but he's scared of his reflection. And if you show him his reflection, he like runs away. I can't remember. I'm looking for it now. Yeah, there's definitely something like this with him. Oh yeah, there you go. Seemingly invincible in whatever form he chooses, Mamra appears to have a single weakness. Seeing his own hideous reflection neutralizes his ability to remain outside the black pyramid and force him to withdraw there. In his emaciated mummy form. So basically, he, that, that's his kryptonite. Yeah. He's, fucking, he's fucking Medusa, basically. Yeah, he, he really is. I mean, he even looks like a Gorgon, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, so even even without the staff, it, I think Skeletor's wise enough to realise this. I think Skeletor's going in there with a fucking tea tray or something. Yeah. Um, you know, for one, he can bounce magic spells back with it. Yeah. Uh, because that works in cartoons. We know that. Yeah, you have yeah, any absolutely. sort of mirror or tea tray, you can bounce a spell back. So, also lasers, bullets, pretty much anything. Uh, pretty much anything, yeah. So I think even without, yeah, even without the staff, Skeletor's got his fucking tea tray of doom. That you know, just fucking show that to Mumra and off he fucks. Like off he goes to the pyramid. But he's not dead, is the thing. Yeah. So Skeletor's then got to infiltrate the pyramid, which will be easy enough, I guess, because Mumra's in hiding. Yeah. And now he's in his mummified form. Yeah. Now here's the bit I don't know. Can he then just instantly transform back into Mumra the Ever Living? Well, because presumably, he has, once he does the incantation, yeah, because he hasn't like used up his fucking, I don't know, evil points for the day, whatever it is that he's that, that flows through him that allows him to do it. He hasn't even whether it's mana or whatever the evil equivalent of mana is, evil mana in mana. I don't know what whatever it fucking is. Like maybe he needs another toot or whatever. But like I think. I think he'd be able to transform again straight away. It's just like he's been driven back. So, yeah, because there was no, I don't remember what the mechanism was. Like I said, I, I, I don't think it's like, um, like in, in, in a game whereby you get your power up and then it's time based or you know, it's it's never, I mean, it's, I, it's, it's it's never explained, is it? No, as far as I know, it isn't. I just know that he's only got so long. He's not permanently Mumra the Ever Living because and otherwise. That's... Yeah, so otherwise, why would he bother going back? Exactly. So he has so long, and then he gets like burned out or whatever, and he has to like regenerate. Um, I guess, I guess it's kind of like maybe the energy is what's doing that to him and making him decrepit because he's like burning through all of this energy. So then he has to go back yeah. and restore, and then he maybe. becomes Mumra the ever living again. I don't know, but I mean, how many robes does he go through as well? That's another fucking question. Fucking every time he, shirts. I know. Every time he fucking transfer, uh, transfers, transforms, he's just like fucking. And he ends up in these loincloths, which, like, I, I've always... See, when I was younger, I always assumed that it was just like... You know when the Hulk transforms and he just rips his shorts, he rips his trousers, and that's how he gets the shorts? Yeah. I kind of always thought that's what, like, the, the bandages and stuff were, that were sort of and the streamers that were flowing off Mumra. But it's yeah. not, is it? Because looking at him ready for this, he's, he's wearing a loincloth and stuff. Yeah. So, like, he, he does a quick change as well. Yeah. Like, that's never explained. No. Never saw. It's never ever explained. So inquiry minds need to know about that one. Where does the magic loincloth come from? And more importantly, where to go when it needs a wash? Well, yeah. Does he have more than one? He wouldn't wash though, would he? He's evil. Evil people don't wash. Pretty sure. Like uh, Skeletor probably he, doesn't wash his furry pants either. Being evil is no excuse for poor hygiene. It's a I fucking mean, Skeletor, pandemic on. Skeletor's got blue skin as well, for fuck's sake. That doesn't happen by accident, does it? That's just, that's years of neglect. Like, well, Robin Banks is setting off the day packs, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. He's not too many banks over in his time. Yeah. But then I guess he's also got a yellow skull, so, you know, let's play that one away. No, can't. Can't no. think of anything funny to add to that one. No. Why was, he de- why was his skull never on fire as well? I don't Unless- know. Uh, maybe copyright infringement on Ghost Rider. I don't know. But Probably. like that's a given, isn't it? If you're gonna have a skull, surely you set it on fire. I don't know. I mean, I said possibly gimmick infringement, but also possibly that might be a bit scary for the kids. 
I mean, it's fucking scary anyway. It's a talking fucking skeleton head on a giant fucking roided out Smurf, basically. It's just... <laughs> oh, fucking roidy Smurf. It, that's what it is. It's like one of the Smurfs where fucking Postal just jacked themselves up and somebody chucked acid in their face. It's like, it's yeah, it's just the horrendous, like, chav rapey Smurf, essentially, is what <laughs> Skeletor is. Even, like, right down to the furry pants and stuff. Like, <laughs> it, he's gross. But I still kind no, of love yeah, um, but he's yeah, he's terrifying. Freaking not not as frightening as Mumra. Mumra is legit. Like even now, Mumra is pretty fucking terrifying. I think it's the teeth with Mumra. Yeah, because he's got like really jagged, razor sharp teeth. Whereas yeah, Skeletor's and they're all kind just of got, yellow as well. Which yeah, I, as a kid, you're told them yellow teeth is bad. Yeah, whereas Skeletor's got like he's sort of got two incisors, but that's about it. Other than that, yeah. he's, he's just like it's a skull. Yeah. You know, it's a fucking skull on it weird black floaty like that skull doesn't seem connected to his body does it no. like he doesn't have a neck where's his fucking neck that's what i want to know yeah i don't know i don't get it but there again there's another advantage that like, you can't cut his fucking head off he hasn't got a neck that's very true how does that kind of work it's no neck is it like sorry i'm just i'm just looking while we're talking um to see if i can find um a picture of Mumra from that really fucking stupid cartoony Thundercats that came out a year or so ago. Oh, uh, don't, don't. I saw one earlier. You don't. You don't need to see that. It'll well, just... the, it looks like the fucking Simpsons version of, uh, or the Family Guy version of Thundercats to start with, but I can't remember what Mumra looks like. Uh, he looks fucking terrible. It, it, he just looks like fat Mumra. It's like somebody took the Michelin Man and made him evil, basically. That's what he looks like. He was evil. Was the Michelin Man evil? I, must I was confused. I mean, I I was kind of assumed he was because he looks like Stay Puffed, but yeah, um, it looks horrible. It, like everything yeah. about that fucking so, Thundercats cartoon looks horrible. It does. It does. Like the one of the images that's come up is there's a group shot, and Lino looks like he's just found his cock for the first time and he's holding it up in the air. Tiger looks like he's stoned, and yeah. Tara looks like she's got something stuck up her ass. Yeah, it looks it looks fucking dreadful. Um, Where's Mamra? Where's Mamra? I've seen everybody else. Yeah, he's, I don't think he's in many of them um, from what I could find earlier on. But it, yeah, it looks dreadful. But we're definitely not using that fucking version of him anyway. We're using oh, like fuck the no. classic fucking Mumra the Ever Living. So yeah, if he's sorry, right, I was just curious. Yeah, so Skeletor's beating him back to to the Black Pyramid. Um, yeah. He's going to transform again then. But when Skeletor first gets there, he is weakened. Although Skeletor doesn't have his staff now, does he? Skeletor doesn't have his staff. It's quite easy to get into the Black Pyramid, but then there's all the booby traps and shit. Yeah, and it's, you know Skeletor's getting caught in those fucking boots. Oh, he's going to trigger has got a Skeletor day. written all yeah, over He's going to set it? off every last fucking trap. Yeah. The lion was bad enough. Yeah, Skeletor, like, he loved, he, he's just built for walking into booby traps. He fucking loves it, yeah. doesn't he? So he's probably going to end up, yeah, getting set on. It's going to be Home Alone, basically, yeah. at this point. He's going to be fucking set on fire, smashed with bowling balls, caught in nets, all sorts of things. Like, Mamra's going to know he's coming. I don't think. Skeletor can work with the element of surprise. <laughs> That's you know, not in his wheelhouse, is it? No, no, I don't think like he can just rock up there while while Mumra's still regenerating and just be like, ah, it's an old man. I'm going to kick you to death. That's just not going <laughs> to... And kick him in the balls until he's dead. Yeah, just, that's, yeah, that's just not going to happen because he's going to set off every trap. He's going to end up doing some damage to himself in the process. Yeah. So we've got a physically weakened Skeletor. I'm trying to remember what the traps were because it's been a while since I've seen Hunter Cats Hope. I know one of them was the mummy bandages tying you down. Yeah, I can't, I, I, can't, was. I can't remember either. But as yeah. long look, if any of them go for his head, he's fine. Because as we've established, unless you smash the skull to bits, I was going to say you smash it. Yeah, but but he's got no neck. You can't chop his head off. He's got less neck than George Lucas. Like you're absolutely <laughs> fine. He's just, and he hasn't even got any chin really. He's just all fucking. He's just. There was which one of them? I forget which he man it was where they smashed the bottom of his skull off. There's one of them where he definitely got his jaw broken. That was the 2002 one, I think. Yeah, there's one of them where he definitely got his jaw broken. Um, so like you, you can, yeah, you can batter his head and he, he's still going as well. Yeah. Like you know, I, I think as long as his brain's intact, essentially, yes. he, he's going to be fine. Um, you know, well, on his internal organs. Um, but then you know the amount of pressure that must be on his fucking heart anyway, with the fucking size on him. Like yeah. You know. He, he, 
it's gonna be pretty easy to stop that if you know what you're doing, I suppose. But well, then, yeah, the same it? true for Mumra. But then Mumra's immortal. Mumra's immortal. Mumra's Mumra the ever living. Ever living, yeah. So, but yeah, you just kind of, you just kind of getting worked up, don't you? you? Just let his heart to get overly overly stretched. You, you would like so he's so he's had to pick his way through all of these traps. Either he, or you know, just stick a needle in, in one of his muscles and watch him fucking drain out like a fucking Welsh water advert. <laughs> so he's, he's fought his way through all the traps. He's in the Black Pyramid. Um, Mamra's transformed by this point because he's heard him come in, so he's yeah. transferred back, and now he's fighting on home turf. But if Skeletor can smash up some of those fucking idols. If he's got enough left in him to smash those idols up, then he's got, he's got nothing to smash them with, though. That's the only thing. No, that's the thing. Is gone. Yeah, but he, he does have an overly roided body. He can probably push the fucking things over. Mm. He's going to have to be dodging lightning left, right, and centre while it's happening because yeah. Mumra's going to be chucking lightning at him. Uh, Mumra can shapeshift as well, can he? But that's yeah. not going to help him. It's here. not going to help him much. No. I can't no, think of I know, anything I know to shapeshift said... into that would give you no. an advantage with Skeletor. He fucking because think... Skeletor hates everyone. Yeah, he hates everyone said... equally. To be yeah, fair, to him. he's not an yeah. England football fan. No. Um, I know we said we weren't allowing sidekicks, but you've also got to think this is Mumra's home. The fucking dog's going to be there. Well, then Skeletor could have the panther thing, couldn't he? But is he, is he going to take it with him? Why not? <laughs> why? Why didn't he take Beastman? <laughs> take him for a walk. <laughs> I'm sure he needs to go outside and have a shit at least once a day. So just you may as well take him here with you. No, we have to draw the line, even with the dog. We Because once we, this is one of those things where, especially yeah. with fucking Masters of the Universe, once you start allowing tertiary characters in, there are like, there's a bazillion of them. Yeah, like, true. Before you know it, we've got fucking Modulock in and all sorts of shit. And then, uh, Modulock. Love Modulock. Um, <laughs> more about that on SMPD, sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, okay, yeah. so I, I think once he's in there, Skeletor's going straight for those idols. And, yeah. you know, this is one of those situations, we've we've had this on the show before. This isn't one of those things where it's like, how does he know? I think Skeletor knows this. Like, he's, well, yeah, he's, he, clever, he, he's not he's, going into battle without knowing his enemy. No, and so, you know, he, again, he is a magic user. He will know that there will be some form of totem, be, yes. it, no, be it these four oddly similar, odd, no, oddly out-of-character things that don't really look like they belong in the Black Pyramid. They're probably something important. Let's fuck those up. Yeah. So I think he would have to watch is while he's trying to fuck those up. Um, Mumra did have that cauldron type come pit thing, didn't he? Where he could, he could, if he can get behind Skeletor, he'd fucking drone him in it. Well, the purple thing he saw all the visions in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I get what you're saying, but um, I don't know. Could you drown Skeletor again? Like, well, what's presumably the, he's, like, he's still got lungs. What's what's the anatomy of a Skeletor? I don't know. <laughs> like. <laughs> He said, well, you presume he's still got lungs, but again, no fucking neck. So where's his airway going? Well, yeah, the track he done. Got a little yeah. fucking biro sticking out of the top. Yeah, yeah. Because like, he looks like a floating skull. I'm sure he's not. Maybe it's just the lighting inside his hood, but he always just looks like he's a floating fucking yeah, skull. Yeah, it's, it's just it? a, skull, a skull in a hood, and then you see the, they've got the body. Yeah. Didn't, didn't have that problem with Frank Langella, did they? No. He was all fucking uh, neck. He, yeah. Uh, okay, so, but yeah, he could grab him. He could, he could throw him in the... The vat and try and drown him, I guess. So that that just comes down to a straight physical test of strength at yeah. that point. Um, I feel like that's going to end up tipping that cauldron over. I don't think yeah. Skeletor's just going to take it. I think yeah, he's got enough to be too strong and going to be yeah. fighting. Are going to be so yeah. It so so that's going to be going all over the floor. Um, we don't really know what's in it to know whether it would be hazardous or not. I'd assume it would burn at the very least. Well, yeah, it's um, all bubbling, so it must be boiling. But then Skeletor's got previous in that regard. So it's whether then he's going to be afraid of that or whether he's just going to be like, nah, you know, I don't want yeah. to live. You know, at, at this point, does he just end up becoming a skeleton? <laughs> but well, and, and that's we, the thing is, is he, would he survive that? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. I, again, though, there's an element of agility with with Skeletor I think like he is, yeah. he, is a, he is a capable fighter and there's an element of that that shit's burning like I'm gonna jump out the way like he's got he is agile he yeah. he does know how to move in in a straight physical contest um I feel like he's got more experience than than Mumra you know do you know what I mean like, like Mumra feels like he's a slugger yeah. when, it, when it comes to he, he feels like he's he's just gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe and just hit you until you fall over yeah. Where a skeletal feels like he's going to be more 
I, I don't know, just more agile. He's going to understand combat better. He's going to be able to dodge the blows. Well, the thing is, like, we've talked about this before. Like, yes, they're both fucking massive, but Mumra, I think, is in in his you no know, Mumra the Everling form is significantly bigger. Yes, um, that's the impression I I always got. That doesn't necessarily lend itself to to being better in, in combat because yes, okay, he's got magic, but if you know if he needs to be in close quarters. And he has to actually scrap. Is has he got that in him, or is he going to be a big lumbering fucking oaf like me, who doesn't that's, actually know how to fight? Yeah, yeah that, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think if you get caught on the end of a fucking slobber knocker from him, like he'll knock you six ways from Sunday. But I think he's going to. I don't think he's got the finesse. No, he's, he's going to be very. Would have. He's going to be very cumbersome in, in his movement, like turning a fucking tanker to swing to swing an arm. Yeah. Whereas actually, with Skeletor, let's not forget, like he hasn't got the staff, but he does still have a sword. So yeah. and again, depending on which version we're going with, he could have one half of the sword of power. Yeah. Um, so you know, it's not just any old fucking sword. Um, plus, you know, sword's going to annoy Mamra because yeah, <laughs> you know, it's going to fucking piss him off, isn't it? Um, but again, the sword would deflect, as we've seen in in He-Man law, like swords can deflect magic. So yes. you know we'll we'll take that as well. If Mum if Mumra's throwing lightning at him, he's got a sword. He's got his magic tea tray. Yep. I, I think he's just going to use like a shield. Yep. I think he I think he can negate the magic there even without his staff. I think whilst he can't throw magic back, hmm. he can deflect it. He can definitely deflect it. I mean, there's half a chance he could deflect it towards the statues of the spirits of evil as well if he really wanted yeah. to try. Um, I mean, they were they were stone though, so I think that's more about smashing shit, isn't it? That's, but that's again, more it, it, smashy, smashy than anything. But, uh, but I mean, you know, if you're shooting lightning, lightning has power behind it as well. It's not just the magic side of it. No, it's going to have something. It's going to have velocity behind it as well. So it's going to do yeah. damage. Yeah. So I mean, he could potentially. I mean, if you just keep Mumra firing for long enough, sooner or later, he's going to hit yeah. one of those fucking things. Yeah. Um, so he's going to get progressively weaker. Um, and again, that feels like the skeletal move. That feels like that I will outthink you and outsmart you until such a yeah. point where you don't have any power left. Yeah, but if you um, get close enough to me and punch me in the face, I'm fucked. Yes, um, because he probably could shatter his skull with a single yeah. punch. Uh, but then again, if he gets close enough to him to do that, could skeletal run him through? Well, but again, running him through isn't going to kill him, is it? So. No, unless you leave the sword in. Because, yeah. Because if he needs, if he needs, well, say that if, he, if he's close enough to you can do that. You surely can show show him his reflection in the tea tray anyway, which is going to send him scurrying. Or in the sword, into his, which, back in, which yeah. has happened. So again, he's well, he's already in the pyramid though, but he's going to scurry back into he's his gonna tomb. Scurry, he's going to scurry away to, in, in his decrepit form, isn't he? Yeah. So he's back in the tomb. So now, yeah, skeletons. So that got, way you run, you're running through while he's in that form. I still don't think you can kill him, though. Even when he's in that form, I still don't think it kills him. I don't but know. When, when he's in that form, you could maybe... if What you need to do, because his, his transformation is incantation-based. Yeah, you need to stop him talking. Yeah, I was going to say, he's, he's the D&D player in me again here now. So when, when he scurries away, I guess what Skelton needs to do there is cut his fucking tongue out. Yeah, uh, or rip, it, he, rip his mandible off. Yeah, so if you hold him down and, and, and cut his tongue out, uh, you're still not going to kill him, but you could then chain that fucking yeah. tomb shut. Yeah, because then he, he can't do the incantation to become bigger and stronger, so he's kind and of he's fucked. locked inside that box. Yeah, I think that's got to be the move, it. isn't it? That's that's the move. That's the move. Um, okay, so has Mamma got anything? So just to wind it back, then has Mamma got anything? that can counter that happening. I don't think the lightning can do it, because I think Skeletor will just bounce those bolts off the sword. Yeah. Um, transforming isn't going to do him any good. because well, no, he can't, say, he can't speak. Yeah. Well, this is I'm going back to before. Oh, right, this okay, now. Yeah. We, we, like, basically, is he able to avoid seeing his reflection in that sword? And I think the answer is no. Yeah. I think, I think Skeletor's got him there, because he's got a naturally reflective thing. Yeah. Um, and we've established that he's bringing a tea tray as well. I think he's smart enough. I think he's agile enough. Yeah. I think he can do it. I didn't. I didn't think he would. I, I no, thought, I didn't think it was going to No, I thought it would be close, but I thought eventually this would go to Mumra. But I think talking it through now, 
I think like on sheer power versus power, like yes, definitely yeah. Mamra has got it. But I think Skeletor, despite the fact it never works out for him, bless him, you know, God loves a trier. Well, that's, think, that's the thing. I, I think mean, he's smart only, enough. The only thing I think with this is that it will probably, if it's going to happen, it will probably happen by accident. Maybe, but then, is it that Skeletor's unlucky, or is it that He Man's just constantly there to fuck up his shit? Like, is it? Do yeah. you know what I mean? Is 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 it? Is it the Skeletor's unlucky, or just He Man's really, really fucking good at his job? Like, and I think it's probably fifty-fifty. Um, I think it's a I, bit yeah, of both. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of both. I wouldn't say it's 50 50 necessarily, but it's certainly a bit of both. Yeah, so if you take He Man out of the equation, which you have here, there's no reason why Skeletal can't catch a break for once. <laughs> yeah. You know? I, yeah, I'll go with that. I, th- I think we. And, and then he can gain control of the ancient spirits of evil and go back and fuck up He Man if he wants. Yeah. Yeah, you know, maybe the ancient spirits will tell him, dude, it's that, that little fucking gay ward thing in the, uh, the pink tights. That's yeah, him. Sort him. Yeah. Just yeah. kill Adam. That's what you need to do. Kill Adam. You'll be fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think I think I'm comfortable giving this to Skeletor. You can't kill Mumra, that's the thing. But but we've had this before. We have had, had, had Kill. We had, you know, we had we had Santa, we've yeah, had yeah. Chucky, I think we had Freddy at one point as well. You can't kill them, so you, you've got to incapacitate them in such a way that they they, they might as well be dead because they can't affect anything. Yeah, and, and, and that's it. You cut his tongue out so he can't transform. He just he's stuck in his decrepit old body you chain up the tomb uh if you want to you can level the fucking pyramid from outside you know take well, yeah, off you would, you? from orbit you know you would when you just make sure that nothing get no, nothing can get him out yeah and yeah that's how you do it i think yeah. he can do it i think he can do it i i think skeletal can can take i i'm gonna yeah, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm awarding this to skeletal food yeah I'll, 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 I'll take that first. i'll take that as a no that'd be a tko yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah, so in the long overdue fight of Skeletor and Mumra, Skeletor somehow nicks it. Yeah. Um, maybe that was slightly anticlimactic because nobody died. I don't know. But <laughs> I, feel yeah. like, I feel like that's the most we've actually talked around a fight in quite some time. The last few have been pretty much Fighty. open and shut. Um, but this is, yeah, there was a, there was a lot to consider in this one. Yeah, absolutely. But um, I think ultimately, yeah, it, it, it goes to Skeletor. Yeah, I, th- I think we've got the right answer there. As always, if you disagree with us, we've got that one wrong, uh, please get in touch. Let us know on Twitter at ddpodcastnet. Uh, you can go to our website, ddpodcast.net, where you can pick up our previous episodes as well as our other shows on Facebook and YouTube with the Double Down Podcast Network. So like, share. Um, we get your podcast from, be it iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon Music. Like, share, subscribe, leave some message with Batteries as best we can. Until next time. See you later.